Hello everybody, welcome back once again. I've got another uh, Triangle Strategy uh, video for you here. Uh, this one's going to be all about stealing. Uh, <laughs> there, there, for the most part, isn't really a reason to bother stealing in this game, in my opinion. There are some items, though, that, that definitely are. Uh, so, uh, I'll go over the full list here in a minute, but... Uh, basically, if you want to steal, obviously, you need uh, either Travis or Trish or both of them. Uh, let's uh, let's no actually you show you here also how I like to kind of set up. I, I actually have uh, Travis with two luck bracelets right now. I don't I actually didn't really like that setup. It does give him a little bit more luck, and uh, your steal rate is based on your luck and the enemy's luck. So the lower the enemy's luck, uh, the, the better your chances are to steal. And... Um, the higher your luck, also, the better chance you've got uh, to steal. Um, boy, I've really got these kind of messed up. Let me just see here if I've got another spare. Um, let me see your speed bracelet right there. Boom. All right, and then we'll do the same thing with Trish here. We'll, we'll, we'll set up in a similar way, right? I actually really want to do it like this because uh, I want to show you the, the differences between their steal rates. Uh, where is... Did you do luck bracelet? Boom. Alright, so speed bracelet, luck bracelet on both. You can see Travis's luck is at 39. Uh, and it's funny, uh, Trisha's luck is at uh, 49. So you'd think she'd have a better steal rate, right? But nope, not the case. Uh, they, they, they have different, like, base steal rates. Uh, and Travis is just significantly higher, so... Uh, even though she's got more luck than he does, uh, he, he's always going to have a better and a much better chance to steal than uh, she does. So, uh, all right, let's uh, let's do this. So I'm actually here in the uh, what is this? Under the Goddess, I believe, is the the name of this one. If I can, before the Goddess, there it is. All right, so let's just start this. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna you know do this. Like a, like a full deal, but uh, we'll just uh, I'll just show you some time is now. some examples of stealing. So the reason why I bring uh, Izana, basically anytime I wanted to steal, I'd always bring Izana in, and uh, that's because she's got right of luck. Now this is gonna raise uh, your luck My by six, which is pretty significant. So uh, she'll be adding you know basically three or I'm sorry six uh, percent uh, chance to steal to to anything, but. Um, all right, so uh, Trish can just steal with her regular attacks, which is also kind of nice because she's an archer. Um, but if, if you take a look on the, <clears throat> excuse me, on the right hand side there, it says steal thirty seven percent. That's not great. Um, you know, so it's it's likely there you have it. Like that she's just gonna miss. Um, but it is nice because again, it doesn't actually cost her any TP uh, to try to steal. So that's that's kind of nice. Whereas Travis, it's not the case. Um, I'm actually just gonna light wave him over to this, uh, to this archer. And then we'll just go with the mug. So here you can see his, his chance is 66%, um, to, to steal here. Um, that's not, it's not quite double, right? Oh, yeah, it's not quite double, but almost. It's very close to double her steal rate. The difference, though, is that his mug is, uh, is gonna cost one TP. So, uh, oops, and I screwed up there. I should have, um, I should have done an in tandem just so that you could kind of. Yeah, let's uh, let's redo this. Jesus, that's the problem with uh, only having three characters, right? It's gonna take me forever just to to reload. And actually, well. you know, what I what I want to show you is uh, is actually going to be a bit of a problem if uh, if I'm actually successful. So, all right, let's retreat, and we'll do this again. Begin battle. All right, the heavens begin. judge you. All right, so the first thing, let's start off again with a right of luck. May fourth Ready for more. Make way. Uh, and then actually, one kind of fun thing to do here. I'll just light wave Travis over right away. 
and then we'll, uh, oh, is this going to work? Yeah, it should work. There we go. Perfect. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to steal. And actually, uh, so doing this, it's going to trigger a, a follow-up from Travis. And Travis, whenever he does follow-up attacks, he has a chance to steal. So, oop, failed to steal. There, and then Travis actually stole there with the fortuitous follow-up. Um, so, you know, that's kind of nice, right? The My fact turn. that he can... He can actually just steal, um, or other other people can kind of make him steal. Maybe I should say. Um, there it is. Yeah, fortuitous fell. Chance to steal an item during a follow-up attack. So uh, that's kind of one of the nice things about Travis too, is if you're trying to steal, uh, is uh, you can actually make him steal by positioning him in you know different ways, uh, which actually makes it kind of uh, fun to use like Kohog. Because Kalog can move your characters around, uh, so he can move Travis, you know, to a to a different spot. And then, like, if you know, I don't know, somebody like maybe like a Serenella's turn is coming up, well, you can move, uh, you know, Travis wherever you want, and then have uh, Serenella walk to the opposite side, and then and slash, and boom, you know, you can get a follow up. So uh, that's kind of one one kind of cool thing about uh, about these guys. Uh, let's uh, let's. Let's get out of here, and I'll just uh, I'll show you the uh, the big list of all the steals in the game, and what I think uh, is kind of worthwhile and, and stuff that's actually worth stealing. Jesus, yeah. I probably should have brought like at least another character in just so that I could uh, get out of the menu a little bit quicker. But uh, we'll just retreat. Actually, yeah, cause I guess I didn't even really need to do that. I could have just alt-tabbed, because that's what I'm going to end up doing anyway here. But um, All right, so let's take a look here. So this is the full, this is my full list. I actually, this took a long time to do, and, and I, I'm not going to say I regret it, but it wasn't, it wasn't great. Uh, I also should say that, you know, unfortunately, Travis and Trish are both not available until Chapter 15, and... Uh, in order to get them, you have to make a, a choice during Chapter 11, which determines which one of the two that you'll get. So basically, again, it's a, it's a choice in Chapter 11 on whether or not to hand over the Roselle. So, and spoiler alert, sorry. Uh, it's whether to, to hand over the Roselle to Hyzant or not. Uh, if you choose to hand over the Roselle, um, that's, that's, how you, that's the first requirement to get Travis. If you choose not to hand them over, that is the first requirement for Trish. Then, once you get to Chapter 15, you have a three-way choice. You either go back to Woolfort uh, with Benedict, or uh, you stay in the capital with Roland, or you go back to check on the, the Roselle. If you go back to check on the Roselle, that is how you get either Travis or Trish. Again, and it depends on your Chapter 11 choice. So, that said... You can't steal anything until at least chapter 15, which there isn't that much that's great until that point anyway. So not really that big of a deal. But um, anyway, so the very, very first battle in the game is besieged by bandits. So this is chapter one, um, a young hawk soars. Travis and Trish are not available for that battle, so it doesn't matter. Uh, in the tournament battle... Uh, Kind of interesting. There's an HP ring that always drops. I always find that a little bit weird. Uh, and then, so this is the battle where you fight XM, Sorcelay, um, and then the, the couple of, you know, Hyzant troops. And this is very weird, too. They all always have a large HP recovery pellet. That's very strange because, um, especially the pikemen, the pikemen usually don't drop HP recovery items. Um, not that important, right? But interesting nonetheless. Um, all right, so here's where we get into Chapter 3. Uh, so Chapter 3, you either go to uh, Hyzant or you go to uh, Esfrost. Uh, Esfrost is not, in terms of stealing, Esfrost is not worth traveling to. They, there's nothing interesting about that battle. Uh, that's where you're, you're fighting with Sigris. Um, however, Plinius, though, in the uh, Hyzant route, has an ice amulet. Uh, again, I don't know, not that interesting, to be completely honest. I, I didn't think the, uh, the amulets were that great. Um, Frederica has a, you know, a, a weakness to ice damage. And so actually you can equip that ice amulet to, to help that out. Right. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I never really found that to be really worthwhile. Any of the, actually any of the, uh, elemental amulets, honestly. 
Um, but anyways, all right, so moving on into Chapter 4. That's the defending Dragan. You can see all the uh, the steals here. Nothing's interesting. Uh, you know, it's uh, in, uninvigorating. I mean, a, most, of, most of the time, shield bearers uh, have uninvigorating, or, uh, or I'm, I'm sorry, they have a spice. It's it's not completely random on what what it is, but you can see here. I mean, this is not this is not in, in, interesting really. Um, the blades, any blade enemies usually have has a has an HP recovery item. The healers as well, uh, and then the battle mages usually always have a uh, uh, some sort of stone elemental stone. So, you know, because this is the beginning of the game, basically these guys only have an ice stone. By the by the point, I mean because. You're talking about New Game Plus already when you go through here and, and stealing an Ice Stone. I mean, who cares? I mean, and, and honestly, that's most of the most of the case with most of this stuff. Um, it's great, like, if you just, you know, are, are getting this stuff. Uh, I guess it's just extra, right? But uh, m most of the stuff just isn't worth seeking out. Um, so next up is Chapter 5. Uh, here's the Frosty Soldiers. Again, nothing interesting here. Fortifying Spice from the Bowman. Uh, the blade and the healer, you know, again, HP recovery items. Shield bearer's got a defortifying spice. Um, chapter six, uh, again, nothing interesting here. Now, chapter seven was, is where it actually gets kind of interesting. Uh, so during General Avlora's assault, Avlora herself has a defense amulet. And, you know, being that you're in your first round of New Game Plus, um, you know, again, if you're actually stealing here, uh, you know, amulets actually kind of are still good. That's a tier two, you know, accessory because you've got the ring amulet and then bracelet. And so at that point in the game, an extra defense amulet actually might be useful. Uh, so I guess just keep that in mind. Uh, the next thing over here is uh, this is Landroy's um, battle instead. So if you decide to surrender Roland, uh, you'll fight Landroy instead. And, you, and he's got a strength amulet, which... You know, also kind of interesting. I don't know of the two. I don't know what I like more, but uh, this battle also does totally suck. It's kind of funny because it it's always felt to me like that that battle with Avlora, even if you don't use the traps, always feels it, you, you actually easier than Landroy's last stand because he's on that he's on a hill and just there's a ton of archers and they're shooting you know uh, fiery death on you the whole time. So. Um, again, that's the only really interesting uh, item there. Now, um, you know, and so so chapter seven then splits off uh, on whether or not. So again, you've got your first choice whether to protect Roland or give him up, and then chapter eight splits off as well to either uh, accept Silvio's proposal or reject him. Um, but either way, nothing's interesting here. Um, Rufus. Uh, in the, you know, in the um, Protect Roland path only has ranged HP recovery pellets. That's just, you know, that's just who cares. Like, that's a basic... I mean, those are good, don't get me wrong. Uh, and especially if you're going to, you know, planning on using Medina a lot. But just stealing this stuff is... Especially if you're playing on hard mode, is just it's just not fun. Um, and then, again, if you decide to surrender Roland, then Chapter 8 splits off into two. But it's the same thing here. You can see the boss always basically has the same, you know, HP recovery pellet in Chapter 8. So moving on, Chapter 9, uh, rematch with the bandits. If you decide to smuggle Sorcery Salt, uh, this battle you can't steal because uh, you're actually fighting against Travis and Trish, and so you can't bring them. Um, or, uh, so then the other uh, the other route is to report Sorcery, and you'll fight Booker. And Booker has a ranged HP recovery pellet. Again, nothing interesting there at all. Uh, this is where it gets a little bit interesting, though. So if you're on the smuggle uh, route, you've got the clash with Sikris in Chapter 10. Sikris himself has an evasion amulet. Now, in my opinion, um, evasion isn't good until the very end of the game, once basically you're 50, and you've got evasion um, bracelets. Uh, the amulets are, are okay, um, but... It's still, the, the way that evasion works, you know, is it's really all or nothing, and you really want to stack it if you're going to uh, be successful. And uh, it, it really, you just can't count on it until, uh, you know, kind of like the end of the game, you're 50 and you're, and you're rocking uh, bracelets. So 
that said, I don't really think that this is probably worth it. And, and this route, um, well, I mean, whatever you're, if you're going down this route, it's because you're, you know, either going for the golden route or I guess whatever, whatever reason, but uh, I guess just keep in mind that uh, Sycorus does have that evasion amulet. All right, next up, um, if you don't reveal, and that's also if you reveal uh, Roland's uh, identity. If you don't reveal uh, Roland's identity, you'll face Rufus, and he's got an accuracy amulet. I think this is even worse. Um, accuracy, I, I never really... I mean, uh, I shouldn't say that. The, I have I have a... Uh, I think it was an accuracy amulet, maybe on... Um, on uh, What is his name? Um, the other archer. Uh, Jesus, Rudolph. Uh, and, and that was actually kind of nice. I think I actually might have had that on... I might have had accuracy on Hewitt as well. But I just don't know. Like, at this point in the game, you've probably, you're probably able to buy enough of these where you don't need to steal. Um, here is where the, it really actually gets kind of interesting, though. So if you decide to report Sorcely, you get these two battles. And you... Um, if you obtain all of the info and answer the ca answers correctly... You'll fight Sorcely's guard cap uh, captain, and he's got a speed amulet. So again, if this is your second pass through the game, uh, that is actually a good. Um, <coughs> excuse me, that's a good. Uh, that's a good steal. <clears throat> uh, otherwise, if you pick the wrong responses or don't find all of the info, you fight Sorcely, and Sorcely has a magic defense amulet. That's that's not that impressive either. Um, again, at this point, you're, you've probably already got an amulet or two, um, and maybe even like a bracelet. <clears throat> and those are good for um, those are good for your tanks, but uh, you probably already have enough where that's not useful. Whereas um, speed amulets, I know I was I was really short on like speed a items for a very long time because I really like that stat. I think that's probably the best. So like probably of of all of the stuff for in chapter ten, this is this is the most interesting thing to steal. Uh, with maybe the the Sycris battle be the kind of like the runner up. <clears throat> Anyways, all right. So here we're on to chapter eleven, and this is safeguarding the Roselle. So Silvio and Rufus both have large ranged HP recover pel recovery pellets. I mean, who cares about that, right? That's that's just junk. Um, and then otherwise, you've got the routing the Roselle battle where Jerome has a large ranged HP recovery pellet, which again, who cares? And then this route, uh, you know, to deliver the result to Hyzant results in actually two fights, which is kind of funny. Um, chapter 11 is very weird, where if you choose to defend the Roselle, you actually only have one battle. Uh, and then, uh, whereas, again, if you if you choose to deliver the result to Hyzant, you actually have two battles, which is, you know, is a little weird. But uh, then Silvio and Rufus have the same thing. So basically, chapter 11 and 12... Uh, really all have the same, like, kind of stealable stuff, as far as the bosses go, um, which, again, is nothing interesting. All right, next up is Chapter 13. Uh, this here, we've got another couple of interesting items where uh, Thallus and Erica, so Thallus always has a magic amulet to steal, and Erica always has a fire amulet. Um, magic amulet, I suppose, is maybe interesting. Like, you might need uh, one of those. Like, if you... I mean, there's like what four four mages in the game. You've, I it might be the case that that would be useful, but I kind of doubt it. Um, so that's the uh, that's the infiltrate the the castle route, uh, and then clash within white. So these are linked. Uh, chapter thirteen is linked to chapter fourteen, um, and so then then the uh, the Evlora, you fight Evlora inside the castle, and she's got an extra large HP. Route. So who cares about that one, right? Um, I, and I think that's the case with the. Well, actually, that's not the case with all the Chapter 14. Um, but it's kind of weird, too, because so like, if you do the Infiltrate the Castle, you fight Eric, Thalys and Erica first, right? But if you go with Destroying the Dam, you fight them in the second battle, and you fight Sycris first. So then uh, Sycris has a, uh, uh, what is that, an uh, extra large HP recovery pellet, which, again, is kind of interesting, but, um, you know, at this point, I, I don't really know that I would I would bother, you know, stealing that or stressing about it <laughs> and then here is the destroy the bridge route um where you again you fight thalus and erica first and they've got you know their their steals and then you'll fight a vlora on the the river and she's got an extra large hp recovery pellet so um very very simple like if, you, if you're going to be fighting thalus and erica it's just is it going to be the first battle or the second battle and they have the same steals which is kind of funny 
uh, and then you know the 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 flip or the other boss right will always have the extra large HP recovery pellet. So it's kind of funny how that ends up working out. But all right, chapter fifteen uh, is uh, so here's the the return to Wolfort um, route, uh, which has you fighting Patriot and he's got an extra large HP recovery pellet. You know who cares? I mean, honestly, I don't. I don't think that that's interesting. Same with the the routing the Royalists if you. Uh, choose Roland's path for chapter 15. Uh, you'll fight uh, Patriot again. He's got the same thing. Um, now, if you choose the to uh, visit the Roselle, though, you'll get one of two battles. Again, depending on which one or which choice you made in chapter 11. So if you uh, defended the Roselle in chapter 11, you'll fight the battle with Bandit Trish, who, and you'll, you'll fight Trish. Now, Obviously, you can only steal during this battle if you had already recruited Travis before. So, but, you know, again, nothing really to worry about here. She's only got an extra large HP recovery pellet. And then it's the same deal with Travis. So, again, if you uh, chose to uh, hand over the Roselle in Chapter 11 to Hyzant, and then you go visit the Roselle in Chapter 15, you'll, you'll fight this battle here with Travis. Uh, next up is chapter 16. This is the battle in the mines. Uh, you've got, you know, the Asfrosty soldiers. Nothing interesting here, right? Because there's no boss. Now, all right, this is where things get a little bit uh, crazy. Uh, so this is uh, chapter 18 uh, of the Golden Path. I, I tried to keep all the, my Golden Path stuff over here on the, on the left-hand side. But uh, So this is Benedict's battle where you fight XM. Uh, nothing interesting to steal there. And also, this is the this is the part in the game where you have to choose uh, how you set all three of your parties up beforehand. And so, if you want to steal, and the only thing that's interesting is the accuracy bracelet here from Gustadolf, you need to put your thief or thieves in um, uh, Roland's party. Um, so, the, and this is the battle at Twins Gate where you fight Gustadolf. So. Uh, again, that's the only really interesting thing here in the golden route or the golden path. God, I said path, right? Uh, I think it was actually supposed to be the golden route. Who cares? Um, I call it what I want. But uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, that's the only thing that's worthwhile, and that's the accuracy bracelet. Now, uh, the more interesting steal, though, is actually the, the one in Frederica's path, which is the battle at the ministry, and that's against Lila. And she's got a speed bracelet. I think that that's probably the best, um, you know, um, steal in the game. And I just realized I forgot to fill in my elite healer. Um, they've usually, all, they've always got the same thing as the, uh, the regular healer does. So, um, all right, anyways. Yeah, so Lila, that, and this is, this is, again, this is my, in my, pre in, in my opinion, this is the best steal in the game, actually. It's from Lila. Uh, I just I highly value uh, speed as a as a um, as a stat, and I had so many of these uh, equipped, and you can only buy. God, is it one? It's either one, or maybe no. I think it is only one. You can only buy one from the merchants uh, per um, pass through the game. So. You know, I think I don't know if it was like chapter thirteen or something. That's when the bracelets become available, and then you can buy one, and then boom, you're done uh, for that playthrough, and and you can't buy any until the, your you know like your next new game plus. So keep that in mind. Um, all right, so next up uh, is uh, is chapter eighteen. This is the Battle of Twins Gate, and that's on Roland's path. You'll fight Sicrus, and he's got an evasion bracelet. Now that's the second best steal, in my opinion. Um, although the basically these these three are actually kind of um, um, that, yeah actually I should say very similar uh, and basically anything but the golden route it has a good steal um, again Lila's got the speed bracelet Sicrus though with the evasion bracelet I actually really like evasion at the end of the game again that's once your characters are already level fifty evasion actually ends up being really really good. And um, specifically with the, the four characters that have the best. So it's Milo, Anna, uh, Picoletta, and Groma. Uh, and I think you can all, I think, and what I did actually was to equip them with two evasion bracelets each. Uh, and that, that really actually makes it so that they can, in, in, in some cases, tank bosses. Because they're really, really difficult to hit. Um, and especially with the, you know, with you're, you want to stack a, an evasion buff on top of that. But... 
Uh, Groma probably ends up being the best because she's got some passives that you know give her evasion as well. So um, it's a it's a great setup. I remember when um, I think when I first got it may have been when I first got Groma. I was like, okay, well I'll set her up as an evasion tank, right? But right at that point in the game, it just doesn't work well um, because it's just not good enough. Uh, and again, in my opinion, once you hit 50, though, for sure, um, and you've got a couple, like literally two evasion bracelets on a character, that's when it's like, oh, wow, yeah, this is really, really good. Um, so keep that in mind. So Sigrus is another really, really good, uh, and, you know, obviously that's Roland's path, uh, is another good way to go. Now, the last one here is the, uh, is the Claris, and that's under Benedict's path. So you'll, you, you know, you fight Claris. He's got a luck bracelet. Those are those are really rare too. I can't remember if there's only one uh, in the game through. Um, I think I think it might be two. There might be two of them in the game that are found during uh, exploration phases. I think I had three of them at the end of the game, but I think that's because on my first pass through the game, uh, I recruited Travis and then I stole from Claris. So I think I ended up with three across all of my playthroughs. Um, but yeah, keep that in mind. So uh, the you know luck is luck is really great for, um, in my opinion anyway, on Travis and Trish, right? If you're planning on stealing, uh, I actually also used a luck bracelet on uh, Saranoa because Saranoa already has a very very high luck stat, so he crits all the time, and I gave him the critical necklace as well, right? Which increases the damage done by crits. Uh, so that was a great setup. I really was happy with that. But um, yeah, so I mean, honestly, it's chapter eighteen has the has has the best steals in the game. It's like hands down. It's like it's not even close. Um, but anyways, all right. So let's move on. So chapter nineteen on the golden path, you'll fight XM. He's only got a panacea pellet, and that's the case with all of the chapter nineteen battles. Actually, that's not true. I lied. Um, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, Cam cell on uh, on on Frederica's path has a large ranged HP recovery pellet. So again, nothing that's not worth stealing. Um, Roland's path, you, you fight, you know, uh, gusted off, same thing, large range HP recovery pellet. Uh, and then the Benedict path, you fight XM and same thing, large range HP recovery pellet. So nothing interesting there. Uh, chapter 20 during the golden path. I think this is the only chapter 20 in the game. Yeah, that's the only one. It's on the golden path. Uh, you fight Lila, and she's got a panacea pellet. You know, those are great, but, um, you know, if you're, if you're playing on hard mode, <laughs> these just aren't really worth trying to steal. Um, you know, some of these battles are just so hard. Actually, this one isn't as bad. I think the the Lila fight um, on, yeah, in, uh, in Frederica's path is the harder uh, of the two battles, but... Uh, yeah, because this one's out on the streets, and this one is inside the the Ministry of Medicine or whatever that place is called. That that fight's brutal. I hated that one. Um, but yeah, anyway, so she's got a panacea pellet. Again, it's up to you on whether or not you think that that's worthwhile. Uh, and then you've got the final battles. Um, so uh, here, final battle uh, for Norzeli on the Golden Path. The the Hierophant, I, or Edor, and the Automatons don't have anything at all to steal, which I always thought was very weird. But, um, yeah, the final battle in the game has nothing uh, as far as steals. Uh, Edor the Deluded on Frederica's Path has um, a Panacea Pellet. Uh, that's the one where you're trying to escape on the bridge. <laughs> that, that battle was actually a lot of fun. Um, battling the embittered Svarog. Svarog's got a Panacea Pellet and uh, the Holy Automaton, which is, you know, Benedict's Path. Again, same thing, Panacea Pellets. The Automatons have nothing. Uh, and then, you know, just random junk here. All right, so Mental Mock Battles. It's generally the case that nothing is worth stealing. Uh, there's a couple of battles, um, I think kind of like mid-game. So... It's after you've after you've done a new game plus, but here let's just go over this stuff. So this is the basic training battle. Um, you can take a look here. There's again, there's nothing interesting. Uh, pincer attack. You know, it's it's usually the case that the Bowmans will have some sort of spice. Uh, Blades will always have a you know an HP recovery pellet. Shield bearers, again, will have some sort of so like the Bowman will have like a buff type spice, and then the shield bearers, pikemen's those sort of things 
will usually, and it's not always the case, but they will usually have some sort of debuffing spice. Um, yeah, so here's the here's the pincer attack. Uh, you know, some HP recovery. Yeah, rogues rogues will always have a, a HP recovery item. Bruisers are kind of weird because I always kind of thought that they were they were more like uh, they were more like tanks, but they're really not. Uh, I guess when it, in, in terms of their like their steals, uh, they're a little bit more like yeah, I guess like a bowman, right? So the, these are like a buffing spice. Uh, here's the combating mages, the <laughs> firestone to steal, right? Like this is just a this is just junk, like very weird. Very weird uh, that they that they didn't do a uh, or put more thought I think into the steals because uh, you know all, most of the stuff is buyable too um, so that's that kind of sucks but anyways uh, fair fight speedy victory close quarters combat uh, battle under three flags you can take a look if you know at any of this stuff if you want take back the boat uh, to the last man uh, defend the arena. Trying to think of when the when the stuff started getting interesting. Uh, the chaos of battle is weird. I listed the chests here because uh, there's a large HP recovery pellets, uh, ranged ice stone, ranged fire. So, you know, I don't know. I hate this battle though. This is the one where everybody starts kind. Of, this is like the like the, the abandoned village, and everybody starts all spread out. That that battle is terrible. I hated it. Uh, forces divided. All right, so this is where things kind of get a, uh, at least get a little bit interesting in terms of stealing. Uh, this is the first one where you've got uh, you start out on what it's like that that battle where you fight Booker, uh, the Battle of Booker's Brigade, and uh, so there's an assassin, um, and and he's kind of starts out on one side with uh, Saranoa. He's got a large HP recovery pellet. I mean, <laughs> that, that, no, that's not interesting. I thought that was something different. I thought that was a large ranged. Yeah, that's that's junk. Okay, well, <laughs> ignore that. That's garbage. Uh, no reason to to worry about that. Uh, take back the castle gate. Yeah, nothing is interesting here. Desperate assault. Yeah, even this one. That's not that interesting, right? So the, this is a, a ranged HP recovery pellet. Um, you know, I like those for Medina, but um, you know, I I certainly don't think that it's really worth worrying about stealing um yeah i don't know so here's field of greed uh another assassin on this one large hp recovery pellet so junk uh and then there's chess in this one that's that's got the you know 1500 coins i don't know most of the chess <laughs> i feel like in almost every one of the battles that had chess in them they're not even worth opening uh, even the very last battle is kind of iffy on whether it's not uh, useful. Uh, here's minecart tactics. So there's a mercenary in this one that has a ranged HP recovery pellet. So again, I don't know. Some of these are kind of interesting, right? Again, if you're planning on um, uh, you know using Medina, because Medina is so intensive on uh, on these ranged HP recovery pellets. I guess if you if you play her the way that I do. Uh, here's last man standing. I got. <laughs> I'll be honest, man. Taking uh, or, or finding all of the steals here for this battle was really rough. Um, this was not fun to do at all, but I did it. I completed the list. And, of course, there's nothing interesting at all. I should say, you know, Cavalrymen and Hawkmen always have uh, oil jugs, which is always a little funny. And it's not even like they're, they're the better versions of the oil jugs, right? These are the single, um, the single uh, you know, jug. It's just terrible. Uh, all right, so here's <clears throat> here's the actually the battle I was thinking of earlier <clears throat> when I said it started kind of getting interesting, uh, and that's the mercenary. He's got an extra large HP recovery pellet. Um, at this point, if uh, if you're playing on hard mode, uh, I don't remember what level this is, but it's probably around level thirty would be my guess. Um, and if you're playing on hard mode, one of the one of the things, and I, I I remember specifically this point in the game, I was really really low on these items. You know the 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 characters were getting to a, a you know the amount of HP where a large HP recovery pellet just really wasn't cutting it anymore, and so I was getting really low. And actually, one of the things that I I think is not a bad idea if you're again if you're playing on hard mode is to actually crank your difficulty down to like very easy and then just go into this battle 
and steal these and then kill the mercenary and it just ends the battle. And you could just repeat it, right? And you could keep farming this if you wanted to. Um, or, you know, at least if you if you felt like you needed more of these. So again, that's that's actually, that, that steal is probably the first one where it's like, oh, okay, well that, that you know, very specific point in the game is, is maybe not such a bad idea to do that kind of thing. But uh, anyway, so here's guerrilla tac uh, tactics. Nothing interesting in that battle because there's no, you know, interesting enemies. Uh, swift escape. No soldier left behind um, against the storm. This is the the Rosellen battle again. Nothing you know interesting there. Uh, to each their own. Same thing. Nothing cool. Uh, Turing. Why do I have an extra line in here? I should delete that. Clean that up. Uh, turning the tides. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing interesting. Here's fort assault. God, I hated that battle so bad. They do have some interesting steals, though. The Assassin's got the large-ranged HP recovery pellet, and the Mercenary's got an extra large. So at least that's kind of uh, interesting. But um, on hard, this battle was the the probably the actually probably the most difficult uh, battle in the entire game um, because there's such a, a really tight time limit. You only have a hundred turns to kill everything, and uh, and that can be pretty brutal. So um, again, at least there's some interesting rewards there. I mean, you. I don't. I wouldn't say it's really worth you know cranking the difficulty down on this one because there's so many enemies. Um, if you want to farm those, it, it you really do want to go with um, Battle of Witch, Wits and and take out the mercenary. So I guess just keep that in mind. Uh, next up is Crimson Fields. Nothing interesting here. Um, you know, I feel like a broken record at this point. Uh, same with an ally in need. That's the one where you have to. Uh, basically protect Frederica. I like that battle, but um, yeah, there's nothing nothing interesting. Uh, conquering the carts, same deal. Uh, nothing interesting there. And then here we're getting into the end game stuff. Uh, lift off. I don't remember the requirement for that. I think that's like new game. You have like your second new game plus. This this becomes available. Uh, mercenary has a large HP recovery pellet. How lame is that? Like, come on. Uh, under the Iron Gate, nothing interesting here because there's no, you know, boss mob. Uh, same with Before the Goddess, nothing interesting here. Long Trek, uh, nothing interesting. And here's here's where things get weird. I forgot to throw this in here. The chests all have fantasy uh, pellets. Oops. But take a look at this. This is it's it's bizarre. Um, they just completely changed, uh, and I, I don't even think I listed all of the different enemies here. I got to one point where I was like, oh, okay, yeah, everything aside from the mercenary and assassin has a large HP recovery pellet. Um, so the mercenary's got the extra large, the assassins have a large range HP. And also, there's multiples. Um, you know, normally these, these battles, you only, you only fight one of these, like, named you know, mercenary or assassin, but in this one, uh, so these, they start out on the map, uh, you know, on opposite sides of you. And then I think it's like, God, is it around, is it around turn 50 or turn, turn 75 or I'm sorry, once you've killed, it's either 50 enemies or 75, um, two more pop out. And the weird thing was I could have swore one of the, the assassin that I stole from had a, just a regular large HP recovery pellet. But then um, another set of them popped out later, and they had this. They had they had these steals again. So I don't know. For what it's worth, that's that's you know kind of what you're looking like. This battle, it was funny too because I had I had read something about uh, somebody farming this this level for panacea pellets, and like that just feels like a that feels like craziness to me. That that battle takes so long. I think even if you're playing on like very easy, that battle is going to take you a while because you have to kill so many things. Um, so I, I just, that, that blows my mind. I think that Panacea pellets are, you can just buy those. Um, granted, you're, you're really limited in how many you can buy, but uh, as long as you've kind of been, you know, keeping up with it, uh, it's not a, it's not necessarily a, that difficult to get a hold of enough of those to, to kind of last you, you know? So um, that's it though. That's stealing. Uh, again, unfortunately, I'll be honest, it's not really in most cases worth doing. 
Uh, it really is just that chapter. God, did I say chapter 15 or is it chapter 18? It's... Oh, Jesus. There's so many mental mock battles. Um, I went too far. Yeah, it's this chapter. It's chapter 18. Yeah, it's the chapter 18 stuff, but it's it's really specifically not the golden route. It's the uh, the other three routes. Again, speed bracelet on uh, Frederica's uh, evasion bracelet on Roland's path, uh, and then you know a luck bracelet on Benedict's path. Th those are the best steals in the game by far. Um, again, the rest of the stuff is really just like, oh, okay, cool, I got this thing. You know, and it was just kind of an extra deal. So, um, anyways, that is all I've got for this one. Wow, I can't believe that took 40 minutes, but, well, that's me. That's me for you. Uh, but anyways, yeah, uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching.